Gathered outside the public Ministry of Public Utilities head office with flags in hand, members of the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission, TNTEC, and their majority union, the Oilfield Workers Trade Union, braved the unpredictable weather with a message for Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez. Meet with the union to discuss TNTEC workers' issues. Anna Carter has more. The Oilfield Workers' Trade Union letters of request for a meeting with Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission's line minister were sent with no response or confirmation to date. OWTU President General Ansel Roger said this has been the case for the past two years. He said Friday's protest shows that his members are fed up. Mr. Roger said some of the issues to be discussed include the non-filling of vacancies and confirmation of temporary workers. TNTEC right now is understaffed, but TNTEC is understaffed in the wrong areas, in the areas that impacts. And therefore we are calling for all of those exploited temporary workers who have been exploited by TNTEC for years for their confirmation. We are calling for the cessation of this high level, the proliferation of contract labor. Because where there is contract, there is corruption. And where there is corruption, there cannot be efficient operation. Executive Vice President of the OWTU, Risa Ram Logan Joda, said the temporary workers have no job security despite many years of service and no pension or benefits. She said this has affected workers' morale. The Commission refuses to, com to confirm these workers. These are the workers who hold up the operations in the organizations on a daily basis. They, these are not workers who come in and do a project and then leave her. They have been here continuously for six, seven and eight years. How can these workers support their families? The OWTU president said he is noting carefully the undertones of the possible retrenchment of TNTEC workers. The union protested on behalf of TNTEC workers one month ago and Mr. Roger said the union will not rest until they are heard. Ayana Carter, TTT News. In response, Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez said he has no objection to discussing policy matters regarding the operation of the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission. But he is opposed to the union bypassing the management and board of TNTEC to address issues which are under their domain. Minister Gonzalez urged the union and the electricity company's management to meet in an effort to amicably resolve disputes in the interest of the commission and workers.